Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabella of Castile made Spain a united country with their marriage on March 31, 1492. The reason was politics rather than the love and it was to empower their union. It was the beginning a cooperative reign that would unite all the dominions of Spain and elevate the nation to a dominant world power. Ferdinand and Isabella incorporated a number of independent Spanish dominions into their kingdom and in 1478 introduced the Spanish Inquisition, a powerful and brutal force of homogenization in Spanish society. The Muslim Moors had swept into Spain from North Africa in the 8th century, and Spain fell before them. The few survivors fled to the north. Then, slowly, the tide turned, and the Moors were gradually driven south again. By the 13th century, their rule was limited to the Kingdom of Granada. It was a long way to go, but on January 2, 1492, after 10 years of war, the Spanish entered the city of Granada. A dream had been realized. Christian Europe rejoiced with them, for the infidel had been expelled from the West. One of the very first moves of the king and the queen was against the Jews just as the Moorish. The remaining Jews and Moorish who wanted to stay in Spain, were ordered to abandon their faith and mosques and to be eager to be converted into Christianity. According to the Alhambra enactment issued against Jews, all Jews were ordered to either change religion or leave the country in six months. There were a few people who did not want to leave Spain and change religions. Even if they changed religions, they were tracked closely. After this tracking process, Inquisition courts were established, and according to resources, more than 13,000 people were executed. 22 is also the year when Columbus started his sail for Americas. Ho wrote in his diary so. In the same month in which their majesties issued the edict that all Jews should be driven out of the kingdom and its territories. In the same month they gave me the order to undertake with sufficient men my expedition of discovery to the, the Indies. In July 1492, Spanish Inquisition expelled its Jewish and Muslim populations. Thousands of refugees consist of Moorish, Jews and Gypsies tried to find a way to leave the country by various means as possible as they could. It was one of the biggest exiles the history recorded. As a response, the Caliph of Muslim world and the Sultan of Ottoman Empire, Sultan Bayezid II, sent out the Ottoman navy under the command of Admiral Kemal Rice to Spain. His task was to evacuate the Jews safely to Ottoman lands. Meanwhile, many Jews who were trying to immigrate by various ships were sorted by the pirates aiming to steal their belongings and jewelries which the Jews supposed to have. Nearly only the ones who were taken from Spain by the ships belonging to Ottoman navy that were sent by Ottoman Sultan, survived and reached to their safe heaven where they would live for centuries in peace. They all survived, because, for the pirates, to attack to an Ottoman battleship was a great challenge which has to be thought twice. While the massacre against Jews were in progress, more than 150,000 Jewish refugees had sought refuge with the Ottoman Empire. The Sultan had sent out imperial edicts throughout the empire that the refugees were to be accepted and welcomed. In his proclamation, the Sultan mentioned that it was God's command to take care of the descendants of the prophets Abraham and his son Jacob. They should come and settle in Istanbul and live in peace in the shade of the fig tree where they could engage in free trade and own property.
Sultan Bayezid issued a proclamation to all the governors of European provinces under Ottoman rule, and ordered them not only to refrain the Sephardic Jew refugees, but to give them a friendly and welcome reception. He threatened all those who treated the Jews harshly or refused them admission into the empire. What is strange and has to be mentioned in this point that the Muslim Ottomans and the Ottoman Sultan who is also the Caliph of all the Muslims in the world haven't done anything to save the Moorish Muslims from Inquisition. The Ottoman Sultan Bayezid was happy with his new population. He ridiculed the conduct of Ferdinand II of Aragon and Isabella and said by his words so. You venture to call Ferdinand a wise ruler, he who has impoverished his own country and enriched mine. 